everybody. So I wanted to come on and do a one month update. Uh, McLean is just over a month old. She's like four days past, you know, where she turned a month. And uh, so just wanted to come and kind of give an update and just for my records too so I can look back and remember how things are because this month has already flown by. I can't believe that she's a month old. Um, we have been so crazy and busy uh, with the holidays that everything really just flew by. She was born on December 5th and um, she has done really good as far as um, she's slept from the beginning. She's really slept a lot. Uh, I mean almost like 23 hours a day at the beginning. So that was kind of nice especially adjusting with Hudson um, to have her sleep so much and not have to worry about that too. Uh, night times have been a little rough. She um, She's had some tummy issues. We're trying uh, we've been trying different formulas and bottles and uh, now I think it might be what's called silent reflux. Um, a friend had suggested that and I was reading up on it and a lot of the symptoms are the same. So we're going to the doctor this week. I'm going to talk to him about it. Um, but so she usually is just worse at night. Like during the day she'll be good. She eats, she sleeps, um, and at night she cries. And she has, and not that she's just crying, but she has really bad gas pains. And so, um, you know, then I feel awful because I could tell that she's crying in pain and there's nothing I can do. We've tried gas drops. We've got gripe water now and I always feel like she's been more gassy since we've started giving her gripe water. And not like we give it to her a lot, but, you know, since we started using that. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what to do. Um, and then some days she's fine and doesn't get gassy or cry at all. And some days, it's, sometimes I think it's gas. Some days, I don't know what it is. But so besides that, she's doing really good. That's the only little issue that we've had uh, with her is just her little tummy issues and trying to fix that because I don't want her to be in pain. Um, she sleeps. Now she sleeps. Um, she takes not on any kind of like schedule or routine. A couple naps during the day. Usually around like 3 or 4 p.m. She'll go down for a good like 3 hour, four, 3, 4 hour nap. Um, that's the only real, like, I can usually count on that time for her to take a nap. Um, she's drinking usually around three ounces, um, sometimes less, sometimes more. She, we have, I had a cousin and a friend that donated some breast milk. So we were using that, and then when she had all the tummy issues, I thought it might be a milk allergy. So we were trying different formulas and sensitive and soy and then when none of those were changing it, I was like, okay, that must not be it. So we we're back to using um, the breast milk. And I will say, I use it more during the day and formula at night because I do not want to have to get up and heat a bottle up and do that much more work <laughs> in the middle of the night. It's hard enough getting up. Uh, she usually around between 10 and 11 uh, will take a bottle. kind of just depends on when she had her last one. She'll have a bottle and then um, we go to bed. And I usually try to stay up until she has that bottle because I know if I go to sleep earlier when she wakes up it's just that much harder um, to wake up and feed her a bottle. So um, she has a bottle around, she's down here, that's why I keep looking down. She's got a bottle right now. She's fussy. Um, so she'll have one around 10 or 11 and then she wakes up like at 2. It's almost like clockwork. I can always count between like 2 and 2.30 she'll wake up for a bottle and then between 5 and 5.30 she wakes up for a bottle. And then Hudson wakes up usually around 7 to 7.30. So not getting a lot of sleep. I'm surprised I don't look more tired than I am. Um, in this past week especially because um, Chase, my husband, was on midnights. And so I had to get up with her every time during the night. And then I had to get up with Hudson in the morning and be awake, you know, for the day. Didn't get any breaks. Um, and I've started back this week with babysitting the little girl that I pick up in the afternoons. Um, it's just a couple days a week. But so that's just, you know, an added layer to everything. So it's been crazy. And... Um, Definitely, you know, could use some more naps, but, and then usually, you know, when they're napping, if I try to nap, one of them sleeps and the other one's awake, or I have to do housework, or, you know, there's something else that comes up. It always works that way. Uh, so there's been a couple times where I'll get, like, a little nap, um, but a lot of times, I don't. Um, Hudson is doing really good with her. He 
is um, he still has his moments obviously he has only one so he'll get jealous and he wants my attention he doesn't want me to hold her he doesn't want me to feed her um, but then he has his really sweet moments like the other day he she was crying and he was drinking his milk and so he tried to give her his bottle of milk um, to make her happy and he'll go and get her pacifier most of the time he puts it in his mouth but the other day he just went and picked it up and tried to put it in her mouth and um, so there are times where he tries and it's so sweet to watch him like crawl over and just look at her and want to like touch her he doesn't fully understand gentle which you know not that I expect him to so he'll try to like crawl over her <laughs> putting his hand down on her face or her stomach um, but she's really good she'll just watch him uh, I guess you know he's low enough close to her level that she'll just lay there on her little play mat and watch him as he crawls around so it's so sweet and I love to watch that and I hope that you know they form a close bond and that that stays with them as they grow older um, and yeah Hudson his sleeping because what I had heard from a lot of people um, you know as far as the older child the issues you would have would be sleeping and like his sleeping pattern being messed up and um, so he, his naps have been a little off track, um, but I think that is more due to teething. He is uh, working on, he's got four teeth now. He's got his top two and his bottom two. And he is working on, I can see on the top, where um, the next set, I don't know what you call them, but the next set of teeth is, you know, getting close to breaking through. So I think his issues are more with teething than with, you know, having a new baby in the house. And he has been super cranky this week. I mean, just wakes up cranky from in the morning, from naps. And he that is not like him at all. Like, he is such a morning baby. He wakes up in the morning and he smiles and he's so happy and he's good to go. And this week he's just not been in a good mood. Um, so we've tried different stuff. Hopefully um, he can get some relief. Hopefully those teeth will pop through soon and he won't be miserable for too much longer. Um, we go this week for her doctor's appointment. So I don't know yet her um, statistics as far as height and weight. When we went, she was not gaining weight. Um, I don't... I guess I haven't talked about this. Um, she was born, she weighed 8 pounds, 6 ounces. And when we left the hospital, she weighed 8 pounds, 2 and a half ounces. Um, you know, which was normal. At her first doctor's appointment, which we've had issues with the insurance and everything, because our insurance will not put her on there until the adoption is finalized. So it ended up being a week after we got home, that we, or a week after she was born, that we got to go into a doctor. And she had lost down to 8 pounds. Um, they weren't concerned. They said it wasn't that much weight. Um, that They were really concerned about it. But they just wanted to bring her back in a week to check and see that she had gained. So we went back the next Friday. And she hadn't gained anything. She was still 8 pounds even. So we had to go in the next Friday. The um, Friday after Christmas. And she um, had... Let's see. Yeah, I guess that was the time where she had gained weight. Um... She finally gained half a pound, so she's back on track. So I'm guessing, you know, if she's gained half a pound a week since then, she'd be at nine and a half pounds now. Um, so I don't know. I can update y'all after we go to the appointment. I do feel like she's gotten longer. Her head has definitely gotten bigger because some of the headbands that she looks so cute in do not fit anymore, are way too tight. Of course, most of the headbands I have are still way too big. Um... She's in newborn clothes. She fits still mostly in all of her newborn clothes. There's a couple of little onesies that are kind of tight, but I think those are just because they're hand-me-downs and they've been washed a bunch, um, so they've shrunk a little bit. She is, she can fit in newborn diapers. Uh, we're out, like we went through a pack of newborn diapers, and so the only other pack, I mean, I have two more packs of newborn, but they're like 88 packs, and so I don't want to open up that much because I don't think she'll be in them for that much longer because she is you know getting to the point where they're a little small so we've just been using size ones which are huge on her um, just kind of overlapping overlapping the little tabs and doing that because I just I don't want to open a newborn and then have half a pack that we don't use so we're doing that but she would still fit in newborn diapers she fits in newborn clothes she, I have put her in some zero to three month clothes um, 
and they they're not hanging off of her super baggy but they are definitely big um, I'm trying to think I can't think of anything else to say I will give you all let's see she's still working on a bottle so I don't know if she will be happy for this but I'll try and give you a little give you a little sneak peek can you say hello can you say hello oh goodness. oh goodness. She's looking out the window. You say hey. Oh, we going to speak up. Yep, here we go. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so I'll try to add in a little footage after this so that she can finish her bottle. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to work. I think I've got the nursery pretty much done. I need to do a nursery tour. Um... And I would love ideas for videos. I don't know if y'all like watching the little day in the life videos um, that I put together. Whatever, you know, videos y'all like, I'd love some suggestions or, you know, if anybody's even watching them, you never know. Sometimes I feel like I do these and nobody watches them. But so that is how we're doing now, a month into this, my little Irish twins. I love calling them that because they're 11 and a half months apart. Um, yeah, so I guess I will talk to you guys later and give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe thanks